one of the tools we use to look for leaks in flat roofs is an infrared camera. We give free infrared inspections on flat roofs and also when it comes to searching for leaks in roofs for repair estimates or resurface roofs where we have to look for areas of wet insulation to cut out and put dry insulation in. We like to use an infrared camera by a company called FLUR. Back in the day when we looked for roofing leaks we had either had visual which we looked for the leak you know in the inside and then we went and looked for cracks in the roof, water getting in, or we also felt with our feet and felt for soft or spongy insulation. But a lot of the times that doesn't show you, you know, it's hard to find all the leaks in a flat roof. With infrared, the water cannot hide from us. So now I'm going to show you the infrared camera. I'm going to show you some pictures with digital pictures and then show the, that digital picture in infrared and show you how water can't hide from us when we have an infrared camera. So here we have a digital camera case. The camera's made by a company called FLUR. And this is the i60 infrared camera. Has a screen there. You turn it on and it shows temperature differences only. So let's take, take the infrared camera around the roof and uh, look for water leakage. One of the things about the infrared gun is that the roof scans must be done at night. The optimum time is between midnight and 4 a.m. And the reason why we have to do them at night is that during the day, the roof temperature with the sun on it is very uniform. You don't see any really temperature differences because the, the roof stays at a certain heat because the sun is heating it up. What happens at night is the dry areas of the roof, the places with dry insulation, they release that heat very quickly. But the wet areas release it slowly because wet insulation holds heat longer than dry insulation. So we scan at night because we're looking for major temperature differences after the roof has released its heat. We're looking for hot spots. The hot spots are the wet spots and the wet spots must be repaired. So we have to do the scan at night. It is now 2.30 in the morning and we're going up on top of an industrial building to do a scan. So let's take a look at that now. So here we are up on the roof at night and as you can see it's pitch black. You can see the city lights but you can't see the roof at all. But Here's the infrared camera, and uh, just for reference, what you're looking at in the picture there is a skylight. And see how it's giving off heat? So let's do a quick scan of this roof and see how much leakage they have. Oh, we have some color change here. There is some leakage right there. We're looking at a drain here. That's giving off heat. And then right beside the drain, you can see a line will follow along and this is actually where they're getting a leak. You see the line there and you see the heat hot area. I'll walk towards it here. There's an area of leakage right there. There's a hot spot. That is where the water's coming in and there's a line here where the water's coming in from that drain over there, that dot, and it's leaking all the way along this line. So as you can see, the insulation, there's a line right there, we'll follow it across. These are leaks. So with the infrared gun, what you do, you find an area like this, you put the infrared gun on it, and you pull the trigger of the infrared gun, and you have a pic still picture. Then we can download the still picture into the computer and give you a report of the wet underlying insulation that we have to cut out of the roof. So let's take a look at some um, infrared pictures close up. So here is an infrared photo of the roof surface at night. You can see the upper left hand corner there's a skylight. They get heat loss at night but if you come down into the middle of the picture off to the right there's a blob of heat loss and what that is is that's a roof leak that's wet insulation underneath the surface of the roof 
you can see the dark area around it well that's dry insulation because it releases its heat faster than the wet insulation does so late at night we pick up the traces of the hot wet insulation so what we do is we use fluorescent spray paint we spray paint around that blob and then when we're either doing the repair or the roof resurface project we cut out those areas and we fill them with dry insulation so here is another photo showing two areas of wet insulation. Those pipes there are plumbing stack exhausts and in the middle there's a little circular heat loss area. That's actually a roof drain. The drains lose heat too. But those two blobs are wet insulation and then we put fluorescent spray paint around those at night and we, when, when we come back to repair or resurface the roof we cut out those two blobs and fill them with dry insulation. So here we have a photo of, of traveling roof leak and in the upper part of the photo we have where the roof leak is actually coming in but you can see the water traveling across the insulation and it actually goes diagonally across the insulation and then back down again so you can have water zigzagging across the roof and leaking in a different area but where it's actually the hole is and where it's coming in is a different area where it, than where it's coming in on the inside so with infrared at night we can see traveling water which helps a lot with repairing the roof we actually can repair the actual location where it's coming in even though it's traveling so here is our last photo of an infrared scan of the roof and you can see between the two plumbing pipes there that there's a wet area that needs to be cut out and replaced so we fluorescent spray paint that area when the daytime comes and it's time to repair or resurface the roof we cut out those wet insulation areas and we put dry insulation in but as you can see with the infrared photos that infrared is an invaluable tool for a flat roofer to find roof leaks it far surpasses any experience that a roofer can have trying to find leaks with his feet or visually during the day you come back at night you scan the roof the water cannot hide from us it's an excellent way of finding roof leaks for repairs or roof resurface projects. So as you can see these infrared guns are an excellent tool to find leakage in flat roofing systems. Sometimes you could inside the building the roof could be appearing like it's leaking in this location but the actual damaged area could be 40 feet away. What happens is it leaks over there and it migrates either over the concrete wood or steel deck and then leaks in here. With an infrared gun, you can see that stream of water underneath the roof system, trace it back to the actual location where it's actually leaking in, and repair that location. Also, we use this for resurface roofs. We scan the roof. After we've power washed the roof, we do a full roof scan. We look for any wet in underlying insulation, cut those insulation areas out, and repair them with new dry insulation before we actually do the resurface. So they're a really handy tool. We give the a free infrared inspection to anyone who'd like to call and get an infrared inspection on their commercial or industrial property. So give us a call. We'll come out with the infrared gun and we'll see if your roof has any leaks.